Good morning, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. It's uh, Thanksgiving morning here. So I figured I would make a video showing what our vegan vegetarian family plans to eat today. And um, I'm starting the morning off with uh, vegan pumpkin uh, cinnamon rolls. So um, I'll show you guys a little bit of me making those. And then as the day goes on, I will show more of what we plan to eat. All right, thanks, and hope you enjoy the video. Bye. So here is the start to my pumpkin cinnamon rolls. In my uh, mixing bowl, I have almond milk, butter, sugar, salt, yeast, and then I also have some um, pumpkin pie spice, some cinnamon, and um, some pumpkin puree. And I'm gonna start adding my flour now, and I'm doing a mix of um, all-purpose, um, unbleached flour as well as um, whole wheat pastry flour and the only reason I'm doing the whole wheat pastry flour is because I forgot to take my um, all-purpose flour out of the freezer so it's really cold right now so I figured I'd just do a mix of the two so I will show you guys these um, what they look like um, maybe after I um, roll them out and put them in a pan and all that stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these all mixed up and I will see you guys in a bit Okay, this is what my dough looks like after I mixed it all up. I used about three cups, I believe. Three cups of flour. I used um, half and half, so half all purpose and then half of the whole wheat pastry flour. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and rise it. I um, cleaned out my mixing bowl and coated it with canola oil. Um, and now I'm just gonna put that in there, put the dough inside, roll it around a little bit and um, put it into my oven to um, rise. Okay, here are my cinnamon rolls before I put them in the oven. I fill them with butter, sugar, pumpkin pie spice, and um, this neat little uh, cinnamon trio I have. It has a mix of three different kinds of cinnamon and sugar. So I just sprinkle some of that inside the cinnamon rolls, roll them up, and then cut them. And then I cover them with plastic while I preheated my oven to 350. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven and bake them for about 30, 35 minutes. Um, and I will show you what they look like when they're done. I'm gonna make a little bit of a glaze to put on top. I think it's just gonna be a like a, an icing glaze because I didn't buy any cream cheese or anything, so, or any vegan cream cheese. So I'll show you these in just a bit. Okay, so these are my cinnamon rolls out of the oven. Um, I'm going to make a really quick um, icing glaze. Um, in the bowl I have uh, powdered sugar, some soy milk, butter, um, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, and a little bit of pumpkin. I'm probably going to need to add some more um, powdered sugar, but I think I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like and then just kind of adjust from there because I'm kind of just making this glaze up. But I'll show you guys what it looks like with the glaze on there and everything in just a second. All right, these are my finished cinnamon rolls. I ended up adding a little bit more um, powdered sugar to my glaze, but I think they look pretty good. This is the first time we've had pumpkin ones, so we're excited to try it out. He's in the process of getting his hair combed, huh? All righty. So this will be our brunch for today. Right. So we just, well not too, we not too long ago had our uh, cinnamon rolls and now I am in the process of making um, a recipe. I kind of, I was looking for um, another dessert to make and I decided that I wanted to try a banana cream pie. So I was looking at vegan banana cream pie recipes and couldn't really find one that I really liked. So I ended up making up a recipe using a combination of different recipes I found and different ideas and I decided to try out banana pudding bars so what I did is I started off with this base and pretty much this is a mixture of golden Oreos and butter and so at first I was just going to um, mix them together while I like post them in the in my food processor until it was like a like a crust, you know, type texture, and then I press it into the bottom of this pan, and I just planned on doing that and then um, putting like um, a custard 
like the banana pudding mixture on top. But I only, uh, my husband only could find the double stuffed Oreo. So since it was like double stuffed, I decided to go ahead and bake it. So I um, baked this crust in the oven at um, 350 degrees just for like five minutes, just to give it like, I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it was a good idea or if it was even necessary. But, so I did that and um, now I'm going to, it's been sitting on the counter for a little bit cooling and I'm gonna put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to just let it completely cool off. And then I will show you guys the second part which is gonna be like the filling part. I've already made, um, I made like a vegan pudding um, from scratch. So I already made that last night and it's been in the fridge overnight. So um, next I'm just going to start trying to figure out what I want to accomplish with them with that so this we'll see how this turns out I hope it's good and well let's all cross our fingers here is my coconut whip and I'm going to mix this and this um, vanilla vegan custard that I made together and then I will um, start to figure out what I want to do with that banana pudding bar deal I have going on. Okay, so I mixed my my whip, um, my coconut whipped cream and my kind of my pretty much my vanilla pudding together. And what I ended up doing is putting a thin layer of the I don't know if you can see that, but the, putting a thin layer layer of the mixture on top of the crust. And then I put the bananas down on top of that thin layer and then I covered the bananas with the rest of the mixture. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the freezer and freeze it for maybe an hour and then move it to the fridge and keep it in the fridge until right before we get ready to eat it. And then I'm going to crush up some more of those Oreos and then put it on top and um, put some bananas on top as well. I think that's what I'll do and hopefully it turns out good I mean it looks pretty good but I think once I get the rest of the topping on top it'll look even better so we'll see how this turns out so I had a little bit of extra um, of the like the fat or the cream from the coconut milk so I decided to make a little bit extra and I topped this pumpkin pie that I baked last night with um, some more of the coconut whip. And this was my first time making a pumpkin pie. So my crust is like, I'll just say it's rustic. It's a rustic pumpkin pie. So we'll also be having this tonight. So I'm gonna put this back in the fridge and let it sit a little bit longer and then we'll have this around dinner time. For dinner, I am going to make roasted veggies. So these are the veggies I will be um, cooking. Some acorn squash, broccoli, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. So I'm making a different, kind of like a different glaze or a different like herb mixture for each of these. Well, the, the carrots and the acorn squash are gonna be, have the same flavor. And then the broccoli and most likely the Brussels sprouts will have a similar flavor. flavor. And I'm going to roast them all together on the same pan. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to cut these up now or if I want to wait. Because um, I think I'm going to put my rolls in. I made them last night. And they're over here in the fridge. I made them last night. Here. And um, they're in the fridge. And I think I'm going to go ahead. So I think I'm going to put my rolls in first and then I will uh, bake those and then start everything else because um, I'm making our Gardein uh, holiday roast and that takes about 80 minutes to cook. And then I'm making the roasted veggies as well. So I don't want to get off on my time. So I think I'll do the rolls first and then everything else and then when the rest of the food is done and we're getting ready to eat I'll pop the rolls in just to warm them up so that they're warm um, when we eat so I think that's what I'll do so I'll go ahead and put my rolls in now and then figure out if I want to start cutting my veggies or if I just want to wait I went ahead and finished everything 
because I got distracted and I just forgot to pick up the camera. So this is our Thanksgiving. It is completely vegan. We are having the Gardein holiday roast and I did the apricot uh, or the acorns squash and carrots and the one um, seasoning and then the broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts in a different one. And then we have our mashed potatoes with an onion gravy and dinner rolls. And then I have my pumpkin pie and the to be seen how it tastes banana pudding or banana cream pie bars. Oh, and cranberry sauce. I just did canned cranberry sauce because I did not feel like making that from scratch. So this is what we'll be having and I hope you enjoyed just a quick look at me attempting to get this all done. All right, thank you for watching, bye.